I'll try to keep this short, but who knows. Um, hardeners. We're going to look at two of them, PPG and DuPont's product. DuPont is the uh, this product here, Axelotar, I don't, I don't know how to pronounce it. Axelotar, Axelotar, whatever. Just click on it. It's a 48315. That's their um, full theme product used as their hardener. And Wilmington, Delaware is a couple of things. A lot of places incorporated at Wilmington, Delaware because they're friendly to corporations. That is, if you, uh, you try to get involved in a lawsuit against them, you'll wind up, uh, they'll, they'll favor the corporation over you as a person. Um, they always try to, Delaware is one of those states that always try to make the corporation a, a person that, and that I think it's like three or four states in the country that basically uh, do not want to see them go. It's their court of chancery, I think it is. Um, a lot of, tons of businesses there. So here's the uh, full thing, urethane hardener, 48315. Um, as we go down, here's your MSD, just your material safety data sheet. This is what's in it. Uh, alpha polyacyanate resin. Okay. So it's at 60 to 100%. The rest are so-so. This aromatic hydrocarbon, I believe that's your uh, flexibility coming in at, and here's a trimmer. It's uh, another way to deal with this. Acetate's probably just a little byproduct or a drying product. Nothing to worry about there. Um, but I just want to show you that can you intermix your hardeners. Um, this one's got this aromatic hydrocarbon. Um, that might, I'm going to, sh I'll show it to you. But let's just jump to this now. This is, uh, Oh, great. Hexamethylene diisocyanate. All right. So as we go up, this product is PPG. This is their ESH. This is their, this is their hardener. So remember, we're dealing with two hardeners. This is their hardener uh, from uh, DuPont's, and this is theirs. They are, in essence, the same. Um, if we look up diisocyanate, hex <laughs> Ox, ah, right. Uh, Diisocyanate. Okay, I'm moving on. Anyway, it's the same product. These are by any other name. Here, there, here they are. Here, synonyms. Synonyms. I'm sorry, I'm half asleep here for some reason. Um, I guess I'm talking to my finger holding the mic. Yeah, that makes you half asleep. Here are the tons of other names. You can research either one. HDMI. This is the same as. Um, Hexyl methylene, methylene. They're, they're all the same. All these are the same. They're interchangeable. HDI is this, um, often called. This one is this one. You know, it's 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 just nothing's changed. Um, they all do the same thing, which is uh, a hardener. Here it is again. It's a isocyanate, and they're just hardeners. They're uh, using military aircrafts, uh, planes, bridges, infrastructure. Um, used in automobile paint. All right, they're using in uh, leather manufacturing, um, plastics, tons of places, tons of uh, different usages. Now, we go over to this tab. Here we go. This is alpha, alphatic, al <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to bother. You guys are just going to have to trust me. I mean, read this. I'm not going to torture you with my mispronunciation. So we're going back to DuPont's product. As you know, as I showed you a minute ago, this is what they call their HDMI. HDMI. Did I say HDMI? Can I say HDMI? Oh, is it H? HDMI. Um, HMDI. Okay, I know it was the other one was the uh, cable, right? All right, so moving on. Um, so they're using, <sighs> this is their name of it, the DuPonts. By any other name, it's still the same thing as, uh, as um, okay, here we go. Automotive marine aircrafts, um, ADIs, can, uh, military. It's, it's a urethane-based polymer, which are formulated into heat-activated or contact adhesives. All right, you've got it in there, too. Um, wood automobiles, types of, uh, here are the types. Types of alpha, alphatic. I keep wanting to say alpha, right? Okay, I'm not going to pronounce it then. All right. Um, here we are here. Hexamethylene 
diisocyanate, okay? So this is the same as these two together. So we got DuPonts. Mm -hmm. This is the DuPonts, and over here we have PPG. So remember, the patents went on this stuff a long time ago, so they can pretty much do it. They can pretty much copy each other. Um, as you scroll down, you look at the percentages. We've got 75 to 90 percent. They don't want to disclose it because of proprietary reasons, and possibly because when you're mixing this stuff, you can't get an accurate, an, a very accurate uh, um, ingredient. And same thing with DuPonts. They got 60 to 100 percent. Well, so there's mostly this product. Um, and this is their hardener. I've used them intermixed, intermixed uh, the cheaper brands of this stuff into DuPonts, into PPGs, and they all are, are the same thing. I have no worries. It's like you saying, oh, I want a different paint thinner. I think this paint thinner is better than that paint thinner. Well, you guys don't go do that. So don't believe the hype when they tell you uh, our hardener is better. Now, with that said, there is some, there are some additives and some... Um, 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 hardeners that will give it some flexibility and they usually call it like an aromatic 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 okay um, I can't really pause this video and I don't feel like editing it into my other I'm just using just a straight screen recording um, okay so let's move this tab here Here's all the names of it. I mean, it just goes on forever. Just remember that your hardener is a hardener. That, that's it. Their hardener is a hardener. Wear a mask 100%. Um, you're going to be, you know, okay. Here's the trimmer. This, again, this is the same DuPont product. And, you know, um, either based on HDI or IPDI, the most common products include. Here we go. Okay, so we're going to hit the, uh, here's the hex. This is the one from PPG. And... We're going to find your flex additive. Um, okay, here we are. Aromatic disia, di, dice eyes. No, you know what? I, don't, I keep trying to pronounce it. I've got to stop it. There are two primary aromatic. Okay. Toline. You guys seen this toline in a lot of stuff? If you look at it, it's tolines in there. The MSDs. And here's the other version. This is... Um, this is the product in going over. Here we go. See right here? This is the single stage hardener for PPG. Now we go back here again. <sighs> okay. Flexible foams. Pure MDI. And MDI and, and the other one. This is not pure MDI is used in production of a variety of polyurethane products like elastomeric sealants, adhesives, and coatings. Take note of that. The elastomeric, their stretching is going to have your pure MDI in it, your, your, your more pure version. So if they want to paint the stretch or be more elastic, i.e., a bumper, you're going to have more of your, your pure MDI in it. And so don't grab any of your hardeners now and then throw it on a bumper. Now, that, that's the difference. So it's not in the paint. It's in the hardener that it appears you're getting your flexibility, your, your, your very minor flexibility enough to, you know, where it's not going to, where it's going to take the expansion of the heat, the plastics expansion and contraction of the cold without breaking apart. Semi-rigid and, yeah, whatever. Foams. All right, so moving on from here. So I am going to stop this video, and please feel free to challenge me. I will do, you know, I will take correction, and I also will um, do research on anything you say. So if it's nothing, I won't comment back. If you, I think you're really serious about it and passionate about it, and I think it's opposite of what the facts show, I will um, make a video and, and comment to you to that effect of helping in the direction in a nice way. I won't troll you. I won't get upset. Um, and if a manufacturer contacts me on this, which they have in the past with other products, I will consider changing my opinion if you can uh, show me the facts differently. But right now, I'm going to say the hardener for, for uh, PPG and DuPonts, hardeners are harder, unless you're dealing with something that needs flexibility like a bumper 
your plastics. Um, then you want to have make sure you have a, a more pure um, MDI, HDI. Um, if you're getting UV resistance, as we see here, you're going to have your more pure. Where the hell is it? Aromatic. Okay. You're going to have your aromatic product. So now, with that said, we go back to DuPont's hardener. Look what's in here. Hydro, or aromatic hydrocarbon. One to five percent, it appears. Um, so it seems like they're just using the different word hydrocarbon, meaning the same as poly uh, uh, HDMI. So this would be more of uh, this uh, one five, this four eight three one five is more of a flexible um, additive. I'm thinking, as opposed to uh, Dupont's um, uh, Dupont's PPG's uh, product here. Uh, with that said. I am hanging up this recording. Oh, I'm not supporting DuPonts over over DPG. Neither one. I'm just saying, don't bother the one five if you don't need the flexibility. Don't even bother if you're not painting a bumper. Just grab the cheaper one, which happens to be in, in my area. PPG. Um, PPG is cheaper on the hardener than DuPonts product, and I didn't compare it. I did not compare the one five. It's just their hardeners are. Ten dollars on the same amount in my area by my suppliers. Let me put that clear. Let me shut up. Have a good day.